how do you win the World Series in a post-steroid era? Well, the WSJ sports team, they think they might know. They have devised a formula to figure out the winner. Things are looking good for the Rangers. Matthew Futterman, you're here to explain. You guys are doing a little sabermetrics over there, aren't you? Well, just a little number crunching. A little number crunching. All, right. tell, tell us about the formula you've come up with. Well, if you believe in if you believe in numbers, and we believe in some numbers, uh, the idea is that there's a certain there's certain benchmarks that World Series champions have met the last well for the last five years, and that if you're not going to meet those benchmarks, if you don't score a certain amount of runs or prove that you can score a certain amount of runs per game or pitch to a certain level, you're probably not, you're probably going to have some trouble during October. For the numbers geeks, let's run through them. At least 4.7 runs per game. Right, 4.7 runs per, per game. Your pitching can't give up, give up more than 4.26 earned runs per game. Uh, you want to have hit 162 home runs during the world uh, during the during the regular season. 162 or 182. Uh, you you want to you want to have hit 162, gotcha. and you don't want to have given, given up, up more than 182. Interestingly, there's also uh, some some run differentials and home run differentials. Your run differential really should be uh, no less than 70, and home run differential the lowest uh, that a World Series champion has recorded in the last for the last five years is 15. We say for the last five because we had to eliminate the San Francisco Giants. Because that was just was weird. A, yeah, they were just a really weird team. <laughs> in 2010. All right, let's very quickly run through why the, the, the people who will benefit from this formula or who at least meet this criteria. You're saying the Rangers, by and large, uh, hit, hit them in all. In the categories that we chose, the Rangers are the only team that ran the table and uh, look really strong. And they looked really strong last year. That's why they got within one strike of the World Series in consecutive innings in Game 6. And for some reason, uh, thought that Darren Oliver would be able to get the final three outs. Bad or idea. <laughs> Orioles and the Nats. Uh, not so great. Uh, the Nationals are especially in trouble, I would say, because although they had terrific pitching, you have to take that pitching with a grain of salt because they sat down Steven Strasburg for the rest of the right. season in September. He's their best pitcher, pitcher yeah. arguably. Uh, Gio Gonzalez is pretty good, too. They were but, resting him, but he could come back for the World Series. Oh, Strasburg? Strasburg, can he? Yeah, yeah unlikely. No, unlikely. I mean, he's shut down. He's done. I mean, he, he's, he's done. They, they think his arm is you know, too fragile, huh. uh, and they don't want to risk it for the long term. And the Orioles, I mean, the Orioles are a strange team. It's, it, there's, no, there's no conceptual way they should have, they should have won 90 games. I mean, they only have, they've only scored, I think, about 10 or 12 runs more than they've given up this season, uh, which is very strange. They should be about a 500 team. All right, very quickly, does this favor the, the American or the National League, your, your statistics? Well, the American League is going to have better offense by definition because the pitchers, pitchers don't hit. Pitchers so don't hit. You'll, you'll, you'll see that. But, but they're, you know, there's two of the teams we studied were National League teams, so they're part of the benchmarks. A full uh, look at all how all the teams ranked on WSJ.com.